coming back for you. I'm coming for you. Don't you worry, I won't leave you behind. Hello. Let's go ride bikes. Buenos dias, amigos. My eyes aren't too puffy. Yay. I don't know how much I slept last night. It was one of those nights where I laid down at 9 p.m. and I just got up at about 6.30, but I don't know how much I slept. It was loud. This road here was raging with cars. That beautiful full moon was great, but <laughs> it was like a light bulb in my tent and I just didn't get comfortable. But now everything is right in the world. It's nice and quiet and still and beautiful. That's where I slept, right there. And I have a deluxe bathroom right next to me. This was actually really handy and it didn't smell bad. It's always nice to have a place to poo in the morning. Just steps out of your tent. This is five stars, baby. So for breakfast today, I have frijoles, the Mexican kind, in a bag. And this is kind of ironic, but I'm gonna put some hatch green chilies on them. The, I bought these in Boulder, even though I'm in the town where these chilies come from. And I'm going to eat a big breakfast because yesterday, I don't think I ate enough. With all the excitement of getting going, I didn't really eat much. I had like an energy bar. And I think it affected me all day. I needed more salt. Here we go. Breakfast of campeones, champions. Add some chilies to the situation here. Oh, yeah. There it is, the famous Duzerito. Never gets old. I can eat beans all day long, pretty much. They're just that good. Thank you, Pepe's parking lot, for a beautiful place to sleep last night. If any of you are riding through here, Pepe's is on the northern side of town, heading that way. They're very friendly, and they make good food. Let's do it. Whoa. That way. <laughs> on the road again. Here we go, sun is rising, it's nice and warm. It's gonna be a beautiful Sunday in New Mexico. No flatties, no crashies, no whammies, no wind in my faceies either. Another beautiful day in the desert, right? Here comes the sun, do do do, all right. And today the goal is to get to back to Las Cruces and finish this northern loop. And it's about 65-ish miles away. I'm really thankful to that family back there who let me stay at their place because otherwise I probably would have been sleeping in this ditch right there. <laughs> tell but those things are probably I don't know 40 feet high look what I found here on the side of the highway a real deal Chile must have fallen out of a transport truck or something sounds like a rattlesnake this is the gold of hatch these chilies it's what their economy is based on So you might be wondering, and I'm wondering too, where is everybody? <laughs> and I don't really know, but I do know that about at 9.30 last night, a crew of about 30 guys on bikes with lights rode past me heading this way. So I'm guessing they probably rode another 10 to 15 miles and camped out here somewhere. But yeah, we're all pretty spread out now. I'm sure I'll find somebody at some point today. All right, now this is a this is a Baja Divide style road here, sandy, rocky, bumpy, going about five miles an hour. Yeah, yeah. Man, this is rough. 
I'm really impressed that those guys rode through here in the dark last night. I mean, there was some moonlight, but still, this is hard enough in the daylight. This is tricky riding. You really have to look ahead and scan what's coming and try to find the root of least resistance. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. There it is, the monumental loop. I know I'm going the right way. I just need to go through this fence and head out into the Wild West. I'm starting to see signs of riders. Somebody dropped their gummy bears. Should I eat it? Of course, five second rule or 12 hour rule. Mmm. Thank you whoever dropped this gummy bear. I found some humans! What's up, brother? Hey. How you doing? Doing great. How was riding that in the night? It was pretty epic with this group here, man. They, we got each other here with uh, just like a few minutes before midnight, yeah. Wow, that's impressive. Awesome. Good work. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and whoever had blue and green gummy bears, you dropped a bunch and I ate them. They're really oh. good. Nothing like a little bit of early morning cow trough water. Cow water. Cow water. So you live in Las Cruces. Is it awesome to be like doing this in your backyard? Man, I've, I've wanted to do this for probably a year or more and I've been slowly getting my bike and everything geared up and last year, of course, everything got canceled. You have a great state, my friend. Land of enchantment. You guys had a nice camp spot. This is, this is cozy. It's beautiful. It is beautiful, I dig it. <laughs> That's one way to describe it. <laughs> what do you love most about bike packing? Uh, oh man, the mental aspect, I guess, just trying to have to push through, uh, you know, the mental blockage and it's like, you know, you're just dying over here, but then you push through that for a while and your legs come back and your mind comes back and you're having fun again. Did you have so, to employ that last night? Dude, we wanted to stop so many times. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, no, we have a goal. We got to get up there. So Sam, I just found out that you make your bags. What's, yeah. uh, what are they made of? Uh, predominantly X-Pack from Dimension Polyant, uh, which everybody's probably familiar with or has seen. Um, been at it for a couple years, but officially just about a year almost. And uh, everything's made in my uh, spare room in Albuquerque. I'm going to be opening up a pre-order on these here in the next week or so. Those look old school. I dig it. Yeah. American Is that made canvas? Wax canvas? Waxed canvas? Yeah. I like that. And uh, I like the natural fibers, man. Yeah. Yeah. So they're they're nice. I've been. This is the the third version that I've run, um, and I've got a few guys out here running them to kind of give them the last last testing before we open up some pre-orders on them. Go order some bags from Sam. <laughs> <laughs> they're pretty cool. thing. What kind of road is this? <laughs> you this is this is fun. <sighs> Woo. There they go up this hill, 
that way, then up, 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 big stuff. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Ooh. Yeah. Woo. It's hard to get to, into any type of a rhythm because you just bounce off rocks the whole time. Come on, buddy. I'm good. You know what? I'm good. Yeah. <sighs> wow. All right. It's been the summer of hike bike. We're so close, Dustin. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Ah. Right on, brother. Way to go. Oh, thanks. Yeah. Nice job, hombre. Yeah, wow. This is some seriously sketchy terrain. It's just rocks. There's no clean line to take. That's the road we went down just now. And uh, yeah. Okay. So it seems like we're out of the super duper rocky stuff. Now we're just on the super rocky stuff. Not duper. <laughs> that might be one of the rockiest roads I've ever ridden. So you're riding single speed, huh? You bet. This is some really chunky stuff out here. Why do people ride single speed? What's the idea there? Less can go wrong, less can break, and you're more in tune with your bike because you only have one way of, of pushing it, and you're not going to question yourself if you're in the right gear or not. So you make the most of what you can, and then you get off and walk when everybody probably has to anyways. <laughs> That's awesome. I love it. How we doing, Dustin? Doing awesome, man. Doing awesome. What'd you just yeah, check here? Lift, like, especially We've done country. about 5.8 miles in way too long time. <laughs> what, like two uh, hours or something? Something like, yeah, I think it was about two hours. Uh, yeah, well that happens when you're you bumbling around on rocks. On yeah, baby <laughs> head central. Man, what do we have here? Looks like a little bit of trail magic. How y'all doing? Doing real well. Good to see you. Right on. Thanks for being here. Nice. <laughs> you get a high five. Thank you. Yeah. What's your name? I'm John. John, what's your name? Nice. nice to meet you. Our pleasure. We're glad to be out here. What inspired you to do this? You know, we're just saying we have such respect for you guys on this route because uh you know as tough as it can be and as much effort as that is as it takes this was what we could do and so brought some 40 gallons of water out here to share with people and make sure they don't balk yeah. i love humans like you <laughs> oh it's like halloween right here it is halloween. big newton mm. what's up my friend what's your name i'm david grimes from albuquerque right on and uh what do you think about all this oh 
It's a lot of fun. Yeah? Yeah. What do you love most about riding your bike, sleeping under the stars? I'm testing myself. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. You talked about, you know, keeping up with the youngins. How's that going? <laughs> uh, it gets harder every day, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, John and Faith. You're awesome. Yeah, we'll see you next year. All right. That way is Las Cruces. Right, all about Woo! Sam! What's up, buddy? <laughs> Looks like we have some more road magic. What's up? How's it going? So what do you have here for okay, us? Okay, so at the uh, the Manor in the Desert, our new pop-up restaurant, going live next week now. So we got soda pop, we got water, we have chips, we have cookies. We're all sold out of the uh, steak tartare. <laughs> it went quick. So, so this goofball right here is actually my host here in Las Cruces. Yeah, this is true. He, what, you let me stay at your house? Yes. Wow. And the house has never been the same. It's risky. Yeah, you know, we've had to like fumigate <laughs> twice now. Kidding, That's man. a Scott. He's a good man. Yay! Yay. And Chloe. Chloe. We got Chloe in the house. Yay. Hello, hello. Oh, it's an emotional support puppy. Right. Yeah. Hey. Scott just said he wants to do an ole. Ole, 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 ole. What a nice family. So glad I met him and his wife and his daughter Chloe. Very, very cool. I didn't know they were going to be out here. That's a surprise. Back in the sand, back in the sand. I love sand, it's so fun. Some nice downhill into Las Cruces. Bye, my friends. Yeah, yeah you guys all rock. Woo! Yeah. Woo! So we're saying goodbye here because some people are going home to Albuquerque and we're all on different schedules. So we're splitting up. But my friend Dustin, my new friend Dustin, just invited me over for Sunday spaghetti dinner. And I think I'm going to take him up on it because that sounds really good. Here we are in the Plaza in Mesilla. Really beautiful little spot. Feels like I'm in Mexico. Dustin, are we almost there? I'm tired. Are we almost there? Are we almost there? We need water. <laughs> And brownies. And brownies, for I sure. Know. Thank you so much, Dustin and Katie, for inviting us into your house and making yummy spaghetti. You guys are the best. Ah, uh, you're, you're welcome. welcome. Yeah, and your kids are awesome. Look at all these amazing kids. Yeah. We promise not to stink up your house too much. <laughs>